Hello guys, as with the selling of my hardtail, obviously I'm, I'm now have the, the full sauce, uh, which is the specialised thumb jumper. It's the pro carbon, so it's, it's, it's a pretty good one, but I've never been happy with these wheels. So considering now I've only got one bike, and I've sold, I'm selling the, the hardtail, so it's going to free up a bit of equity there, um, I'm going to upgrade this bike, and I'm going to start with the wheels, and I'm going to show you what I've got. Wheels, let's have a look. So I scoured through the internet looking at what kind of wheel that I want. Now, I like high engagement hub. So I've had the Bontrager uh, Rapid Drive 108 tooth engagement. It's one of my favorite wheels of all time. I've got the Halo Vortex and the 650B, which I'm gonna to use to mullet um, my full suspension bike at bike parks, just to slacken that head angle out and uh, yeah just to put a semi-slick tire on as well so i've had the specialized slaughter on the back of it which is a semi-slick but i wanted a change so i wanted a good wheel i wanted a, a robust wheel so i'm not talking anything under 30 mil internal uh, width on that wheel so i went for a 35 mil internal width on that wheel just like the halo vortex i've gone for a brand which isn't as well known as the 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 big brands but at the same time they're, they're getting a really good reputation and the reviews that they've got and they've got a three degree uh, ratchet system so the uh, it should make a wicked sound I haven't actually heard it in person but I've heard things about it and the engagement should be absolutely fantastic three degree the halo vortex has got three degree and that's 120 teeth of engagement so let's have a look at these wheels I've gone for hunt they do feel really light what I like about it, they're quite flat as well, so it'll reduce the pinch flats. And I believe they come with spare spokes and uh, valves, tubeless valves, which is brilliant. I'm going to take the front wheel off, I'm going to take the tyre off, I'm going to take the rotor off, and then I'm going to weigh both the wheels. Sounds like there's plenty of sealant in there. Specialised tyres are quite good. I've always been like a Maxxis fanboy um, and I thought maybe I'd have to swap these over to Maxxis when I first had the bike but to be perfectly honest they've been really really good and they're not tight fitting but they seem to seal really well which is probably why they label them as tubeless but spelt weird. I've got the spelling up here. Problem. I can't find the scales. I don't know what I've done with them. But I've got to say, the hunt wheels, even though they're, they're a wider rim, if we have a look, they are a, a five mil wider rim. They actually feel a little bit lighter. But what I'll do, I'll put it on the screen up here, and watch these wheels weigh. I could be wrong. There you go. Add to the collection. Thinking about calling my bike, Mark, what do you reckon? I think it's awesome that uh, all these new wheels now, these days, actually come with valves they never used to it was really annoying and rim tape already on there i think now manufacturers are just kind of like yeah if you get a good set of wheels obviously they're going to be tubeless uh, you're not i think tubes are dead now aren't they what do you think these are really quite loose fitting on the rim these tires so uh you might have a bit of trouble blowing them off but we'll see Maybe not, put the valve in. See if it's sealed. Needs a little bit, that's no problem. Generally when I'm seating tubeless, I'll pump it up to 40 PSI anyway, and uh, leave it there all for the night. And then I'll just see, I'll just see basically if it loses any air in the morning. I'm just looking for the, there's a little bead which goes all the way around. Just looking for that basically, just making sure none of the bead is actually tucked, tucked in, which it isn't, which is brilliant. Actually feels really, really light. So this one's on the Ravel Traverse uh, wheel. Let me uh, just get my vernier out. Just, just going up to up. So we've got 60 mil, 
that's 60 mil um, and this one is on 35 mil exactly the same but obviously it balloons the side out a little bit more uh, so about 65 mil so it's increased the, the footprint of the tyre which is always good because I like a nice wide tyre I like uh, I'd definitely substitute speed over grip no I'd substitute grip over speed <laughs> on that side, beads on that side. Cool. Mm -hmm. Nice, get this wheel back on. So much easier than the other wheels. Right. Should we have a look? We all want to know what the sound's like. But it's not over. Because we've got some more upgrading to do. I'm not going to tell you what it is yet. Uh, you have to wait till the next video. So, I'll see you later. If you like the video, like and subscribe, same thing. See you next Monday. <laughs>